Mr White, this is Pam from the Department of Immigration and Border Protection. We have a phone interview for your sponsorship application for uh, Miss Santos. Is this a good time to talk? What can I do you for? Sorry? Mr White, I just wanted to double check the age of the woman. Girl, uh, woman for whom this application... What's the problem? I just thought there might be a mistake. What's the problem? She's 19. She's a very beautiful woman. Love has no age. Well, Mr White, this is your fourth application in the last two years and three months. Any reason you didn't marry? Any reason these women didn't stay in Australia? No reason. You have now been placed under a serial sponsor category, and also due to the unknown whereabouts of your second fiancé, we have concerns... She just left one day. Um, some stuff was missing from my house. You know, bloody Asians. I have the police report here, and it states that the report was lodged by your wife's mother when she didn't hear from her for months, and we still So how's not... that my problem? What happened to Ms. Bautista, your last fiancé? Why did she leave? She didn't leave, I sent her back. She was no good in bed. Sorry? I sent her back. You should have that in your records. Every six months you lot take 12 grand off me, so what's the problem? I'm aware of the cost of the prospective marriage visa, sir. I'll have to consult my supervisor. I'll get back to you soon. Thanks for your time. She's not good in bed, and that's his reason for sending her back. So on what basis will you reject his application? How about one of his wives has gone missing? Pam, we deal in affairs of entry into Australia, not in social engineering. Meaning? Meaning I can't draw the line after three or four marriages and say, that's it, you can't have any more. That would be social engineering at its worst. If they meet all the criteria, we cannot deny them a visa. We approved an application two years ago for a man with a history of violence. That woman has now gone missing. Same last name, if I remember correctly. I think you didn't hear me. They meet the criteria, you approve the visa. And in the meantime, these serial sponsors go shopping for fiancés in countries that they clearly regard as bargain bins for sexually submissive and easily disposable women. Anything else you need from me? No. G'day, Dal. Couldn't help an old bloke out with me phone, could you? This new technology's got me stuffed. Sorry? My phone. Try switching it on and off. I tried that, Dal. Help an old bloke out, would you? You must be just hung. Wait for some time. It should be fine. OK. Help an old bloke, will you, love? Enter the password and... It's good to go. It's a bit confusing nowadays with computers, banks and phones. Yeah. Should be just one password for everything, shouldn't it? Mm. What was it? My birthday. One nine, one one. It's best to keep them all the same. You know, just one if it's the right one. Anything's possible. Took me a while to get used to this phone. Too much. Too confusing for a nice bloke like me. So where are you from, sweetie? Sydney. No, where are you from? 
Philippines. Do you like it here in Australia? Would you like to stay forever? Word again? My birthday. One nine, one one. It's working now. And you're right. You just need one. The right one. Makes it easier. I'd like to thank you. Can I buy you a coffee? I know a nice place around the corner. Correctly. Oh, one nine, one one. 